Our latest installment of the Rawlings NBC First Pitch takes us to Nashville and Belmont's Dave Jarvis joining us. And the Bruins check in at 5-4 and four, and certainly a, a midweek not like you guys would like against Austin P. But coach, if you could just speak to the importance of those midweek games because I've said for years that on down the line it'll serve everybody better for the guys that get ABs and get innings in those midweek games because your most important games are going to come at the end of the season and those guys might contribute, right? You're exactly right. It allows you to kind of shape and reshape your bullpen in many ways. You can uh, tweak adjustments in your lineup. You can develop uh, guys to be able to come off the bench <clears throat> for pinch hit roles or defensive roles uh, late in the ball game if you want to, want to use them for that as well. Uh, there's good opportunities there. And, and there's also, Shane, there's just a rhythm to the game of baseball that – it's good for people to get in and get some ABs, pitchers to get a touch on the rubber a lot of times on a Tuesday in preparation for a Friday, Saturday, Sunday series so that they keep that rhythm, keep their timing. And, uh, it, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of repetition to the game of baseball, and that allows us to continue that as well. And a guy that it seems to me like is taking advantage of more playing time lately and is heating up kind of matching Jack Rando, and that's uh, Blake Barton. Those guys yeah. have really been good in the last couple of weekends, and Barton was getting, uh, good again last night. Yeah, it was good. To, you know, we we Blake had had some uh, lower body leg injury uh, early in the year that uh, we were we were able to work through. But it's one of those injuries where you have to kind of be careful, bring him back a little bit slower, uh, and and so getting his bat back in the lineup, being able to get him not only behind the plate catching a little bit, but out in the outfield some. Uh, that's that's been able to take some of the pressure off of his lower body and get it, keep his bat healthy and keep it in the lineup. And of course, Jack Rando is that he's that fourth year senior that has gotten better each year. Uh, a lot of that's just a tribute to his work ethic and how hard he works. And uh, you know, both of those guys are also great leaders for us in this club as well. And if you're ever going to win uh, one game in a series, you want it to be on a Sunday, and you guys certainly uh, finished up that Evansville series in style. But talk about the uh, the maybe the the randomness a little bit of the first two games. A Friday game is a typical Friday game. You lose a low scoring matchup, and then on Saturday you lose eight to three. But you put it all together on Sunday. What was the key? Do you think for your guys to channel that frustration in the right way on a on a Sunday run rule win? Well, I think the biggest key was just. Uh, you know, we're an older team with a lot of good, uh, solid upperclassmen, junior, senior leadership. And I think that gives us stability so that there's not a panic that they that they run into a, uh, a situation where they just panic. And, and then that allows Sunday to slip away from you as well. There's a lot of determination. And to be honest with you, Shane, the league is very even, we feel like as well, too. I'm, the teams that we played, of course, we feel like it's it's every game is kind of in the balance. And then, you know, with my illness and, and time at home, I've watched a lot of Missouri Valley games and teams, and there's so many similarities between all of us, I feel like. And I think, you know, of course, Indiana State's uh, out to a great start and out front, uh, but so many of the teams look very similar. And uh, I think the league's up for grabs this year for several different teams, to be quite honest with you. And it should make for a very exciting tournament as well, I feel like. You know, we talked about the importance of midweek games and you get to shape your bullpen and get some guys some innings that don't normally get them. But how about the Sunday start uh, Joe Rizika give you guys? He went all seven, and that 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 just wraps up the weekend in grand style when a Sunday guy can do that. Absolutely. And Joe, you know, he's a sophomore. Uh, he's a St. Louis uh, kid that came in here last year and had – we saw tremendous uh, ability out of him, a lot of high ceiling potential, and – uh, if, you know, we had to sand off some of the rough edges basically for command and pitch development and so forth, but those things have started to come into place for him. And, uh, you know, we're just really excited about the, what the future holds for Joe. He's, he did a heck of a job for us on Sunday and has had, you know, uh, other starts throughout the course of the spring where we've seen that as well, too. A couple of keys for you this weekend, as you go to Valpo to take on the beacons that if Belmont does this and this they're going to come home victorious with a series win. What would that be? Well, I think, I think the, the biggest thing for us is on the mound, just making sure that we execute our, our locations, uh, you know, at the plate, our guys have gotten better at in If you look at the, the big picture over the last three weeks, 
Our strike zone discipline and approach has gotten much better. Uh, I feel like we're going to the plate in a little bit with a little bit better plan right now. Uh, we've gotten a little bit healthier with a, a bat or two that are kind of getting back into the lineup. Uh, and those things have made our lineup a little bit older or, or a little bit more experienced as, as well. And I think uh, I think a big key for the entire league as I as I look around is I think the healthiest teams come come May and and the end of May are going to be the most dangerous teams. Uh, it's it's very equally balanced, I feel like, from top to bottom. But it's going to be about staying healthy, both on the mound and at the plate for sure. For us, it's gonna it's gonna be a matter of going up there and playing within ourselves and doing what we do and and making sure that we stay within our approach. Well, coach, speaking of health, best of health and luck to you and your Belmont club. We look forward to seeing you on the field soon. We'll talk to you ahead of the Missouri Valley Conference tournament. Okay. I, absolutely. I just want to say thank you to all the other Valley coaches and the people at the at the Missouri Valley office that have reached out. I'm very grateful for uh, you know the thoughts and prayers that I've received from this. Thank you.